Welcome back everybody, it's time now for game number two of your TI4 Solar Mid Championships between S4 of Team Alliance and Ferrari430 of Team Invictus Gaming. S4 taking game one, Ben, we've got game two, Queen of Pain versus Queen of Pain. Ferrari's got to bring it back here. But not with the Boots first build, it's interesting to see how he alters his build game to game. S S4, I think when in the pre-creep brawl yeah. between him and Artesia was both uh, boots. No, him and Ice Ice Ice. Oh, him and Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, that was the... I don't know if they had like a gentleman's agreement where Ice 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 like told him in advance, like, dude, I'm going boots first. You better do it too. Because <laughs> they, b both games, they, like, puck first puck and quap first quap. Both games, they had boots first. 30 seconds to battle. It was... I don't, I don't understand it, but... Ferrari not taking any chances and just huddling by his T2 tower. So, a couple of things that we've seen from this matchup. Firstly, you can't get off to a bad start early. You will get punished for this much more so than other ones, unless you have a salve, but even salve is pretty difficult to get away with because of the damage over time from Shadow Strike. Secondly, the builds differ. We've seen 1-1-1, one, 2-1-0, one, 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 um, but everyone has gotten Shadow Strike. It is fairly mana intensive, and Blink Dodging a Shadow Strike is a huge momentum swing in your favor. So those are the things to look out for in this matchup. All right. Well, uh, Ferrari, once again, going for his Bottle Rush 5-branch build, which has kind of become his patent 1v1 build. As far as for making sure he gets some actual Tangos to start off with, knowing that that Shadow Strike harass is very pesky. And if you get a bad block, you're guaranteed to take early harass. And that's where not having no Talisman and Branches, you'll lose the lane. But very even block to start things off here. Neither player getting an advantage off of it. And Ferrari misses the first last hit, mm. and Ferrari will have his bottle again. So Ferrari probably doesn't have the upper edge from like 0 to 2, and then Ferrari will see a big surge in power from like no. 2 to like 3, I'd say, and then it's S4's time to shine after that if he accrues a lot of last hits with Bill Talisman. Yeah. So that's what I expect the power struggle to look like in the mid lane, but I don't think it could change due to upsets in CS. Yeah. And so far we have not seen the Null Talisman like really make a huge difference as far as last hits go. I mean, not just looking at this game, obviously this game we've only seen so few last hits, but as a whole I feel like the Null Talisman first has not led to winning the CS battle again. I mean, we, Ferrari's just cruised through. He's in the Grand Finals here and has not gone for the Null Talisman first in any of his games. Yeah, I would say it only... <laughs> Uh, matchup the base damage really really matters is SF versus SF everything else is yeah. seems more timing based than actual damage based Yep, well, uh, we'll see how things start off here Ferrari's bottle coming up as soon as you get a couple more last hits He does really rely on those early last hits to get that bottle up and so far just the one last hit to his name S4 with three so very small difference, but at this early on, that small difference makes a, a world of pain for Ferrari, who's still struggling to get this bottle up. Although he does get two last hits under his tower, so that's going to be a nice little boost. And S4 is going for a 1 1 1. Ferrari also going for a 1 1 1, so okay. not too much damage coming up from Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike is actually very damage efficient on uh, both 2 and beyond. Oh, Ferrari pressing up. He gets the scream as well. Could get one more. Ooh. Wow, one more last hit. He was I almost in range for it. Yeah, if he. If he salves up though, and Ferrari tanks like three tower hits, he yeah. could potentially die. So that was a very <laughs> risky position for both players. And there was the counter shadow strike, so Ferrari also had his was also slowed. So and S4 has a salve, whereas Ferrari doesn't. So that's a that's a pretty. I like the choice from Ferrari to back off because end of the day, the the trade was very much in his advantage. He got a lot of last hits off of it. He's got his bottle coming out. He'll regen up and. Once he ha he heals up, he'll be in a good position here. S4's only got 250 gold. He's still got a long way to go before his bottle. And it will be a haste rune top. Ferrari will scout it out. And that's a pretty big rune. Haste is a very, very big rune in this matchup. It r renders Blink near ineffective, as well as the opposing slow from Shadow Strike. All right. Well, the, uh, if he gets aggressive off of this, S4 will scout it out immediately. So Creep score has evened out. Yeah. Both sitting at eight. It's really nice for Ferrari, means he has got a slight... Actually, he doesn't have the level advantage right now because there's a lot of creeps waiting for him, and we'll see uh, how he can do here. As he's looking for that Shadow Strike, we'll push S4 back, making him miss a last hit or two. Maybe level 5 with this haste room, Ferrari can look to get a bit more aggressive. Yeah, and looks like Bottle is coming up for S4. Let's see if no, he... No, it's not. He's he's really oh, he... poor. He's... Wow. I was about to say, like, what, he's... he's found a bottle? He's got Tango's in it. I thought he had a bottle. I mean, Ferrari has his bottle. I guess the Null Talisman and the Hazen are just threatening S4 way too much. This is going to set him yeah. so far back if you have to spend regen on other things than bottle when you really do want that bottle. So four minute rune goes to Ferrari, so he's going to be in control for it. Of... Significant if, amount of If he gets, like, a DD rune, even, like, an Illusion rune will give him a big last hitting advantage, so... 
I think S4 almost has to guess the rune. I, I, I feel like he needs to go for the rune, even though he doesn't have a bottle. Well, he can just control uh, it. Oh, actually, no, he can't. Yeah, he has to pretty much go in the fog, I think, or Ferrari will just chase him down with a haste That's rune. true. Yeah. S4 gets his clarity cancelled, does get most of that. Invi's going to spawn top, and that's the first lane you normally check. Going for the rune. Ferrari still got his haste rune. He can almost get aggressive and go for this kill under the tower here. Three points in Scream are available for S4. He's going to go for the rune first. It's an Invis. He's still hasted. He can go back mid with haste and invis, possibly catch S4 by surprise. But can he get a kill? Queen of Pain mm. sitting at 500 HP with three tangos and not nice. popping the going for it. Okay. Well, element of surprise is gone. If he got like a DD rune there, I think he definitely goes for it, but not the case. And he's just using this haste rune to get a couple free right clicks off. And as much as this matchup so far has been looking really good for Ferrari, end of the day, he's not actually that far ahead on CS, although a lot of S4's money is going to like. Tango salves clarities, which is not really income, which is going to remain like Ferrari's bottle. Yeah, and Ferrari has actually already used up. Invis. And he picks up some extra stats, gets his mantle, gets he, his. He can push. blink, scream, and sonic wave and kill S4 right now if he actually sees him. So S4 has to stay out of vision. He can't go up to CS or he's going to die. So and he has to wait for a bottle. bottle. This, is, this is nice for S4. Ferrari has a sonic wave. Is ooh, if he hits that, it's a possible kill. It's so close. He's just yeah. right on the edge. I think he'd probably survive with probably 10, 15 HP at that point. As it stands, Ferrari about 20 mana short of using his blink, scream, sonic wave combo, even with the magic wand, but he'll get close there. His bottle crow is coming back, and I think he's got... Uh, no, 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 tells me. He's going to go for the observer. I like bad. it. It's nighttime. It's really hard to get vision. Even just poking your head up to check the top rune is a lot harder during the nighttime, so... This will give Ferrari pretty much guaranteed runes unless S4 is just blindly guessing as to where it's going to spawn. Even for Ferrari getting the haste and the invisibility rune, he's only two CS ahead. Yeah. The net worth though... Uh, whoa, it's actually... what? It's in favor of S4? I guess Ferrari started with a lot of tangos. Oh, nice blink dodge again. The Observer is also going to add to his net worth here. Ferrari going to battle it out here in the mid lane and we're going to see S4 push back once more. Ferrari gets the last hit. Actually blinks to the high ground there. I guess just a bit worried about some aggression. And six minute rune's going to spawn bottom. He has not got vision of the rune. Sees it's not top with the Observer Warden. Will make his way bottom. S4 not there. And uh, not going to go for it either. It's com it's completely dark. He doesn't know where Ferrari is. He also doesn't even know how much HP Ferrari has. For all he knows, Ferrari could have just bottle crowed, have full HP, full mana. So S4 is going to opt to play safe. Still sitting 700 HP is a very safe area for him. Both um, heroes level 7, so Blink, Scream, Sonic Wave, and a couple right clicks doing upwards of 600 damage. So yeah. they're they're still in that safe territory. Do you, is this a matchup where you're going to be seeing people level up Shadow Strike, Blink, get stats? Like, what's what's your kind of mindset here in a one v one? I think Blink. The damage is going to be very bursty. I feel like, and Scream of Pain is very very efficient. Um, and clearing the creep wave and checking roots and getting damage on the hero at the same time whereas shadow strike is just super risky you can disjoint shadow strike you can't disjoint screw of pain so it's yep. just much safer to go for a blink it's easier for you to check stats, runes. stats is no go um you could go stats too but the blink leveling you just have to have it it might cost you a rune in the game because you don't have max blink yet and like 10 to 50 minutes in a DD room could be all the difference here. S4 gonna get jumped here. The Sonic Wave is there. He wands up though, saves his life, or does it? The Shadow Strike damage is gonna tick, tick. It's GG. It's all over. This magic one shot can't be used. Throws the Sonic Wave for good measure. GG is called. 1 1. Grand Finals going to end. Shadow Fiend versus Shadow Fiend. Game 3 decider, Ben. Oh yeah. That's where it's at. We've we had a lot of SF versus SF. A lot of these matchups going to distance. I didn't think Ferrari was going to get the kill there. Uh, S4 just caught slightly off guard, didn't blink fast enough to evade the incoming damage uh, from the Sonic Wave and the Shadow Strike. Yeah, well that, that does it. It was a closest 1v1 matchup. Ferrari 430 was just the aggressor the entire time though. So even though S4 kind of stayed up on CS, it wasn't really enough. And we'll see who takes in the Shadow Fiend versus Shadow Fiend guys. So Game 3, the decider here in your TI4 Soulmate Championship. I'm Gods, joined by Molini. Stick around. The Game 3 decider coming up after...